Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 50, second round match between Rick Reckless and his Lizardmen and Purple Chest and his Dwarves. Just waiting for his kickoff return here. To, In uh, the booth find out with me, boobies. thanks for that flux streamer, is Skurometso and Daedalquist. Hello! Hello everyone, look at this battle of the streamers, big personalities abound in this one. Purple Chest just got finished picking the rest of Jimmy Fantastic out of his teeth and is now going up against Rick Reckless and this game is going out to the 4,105,267 people in today's special country. I guess based on that number you all know who it is. That's right folks, it's Croatia, the National flower, the iris, and of course, the national dish is Jimmy Fantastic Chocolate, baby. <laughs> Let's get this one underway. How are we doing tonight, guys? Hey, I've actually been to Croatia on a football tournament. It was beautiful. I've heard it's great. I have two dogs that were born in uh, Zagreb, so uh, yeah, Ooh. that's my connection to Croatia. Jim, you? you? Mm. Um, He's got a chocolate company there. I've got a oh. chocolate company there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, d I don't know. I don't know if I've been or not. I don't know where I've been. No, I haven't. Jesus Christ. I would fucking oh, hope no, you know. <laughs> I don't know where I've been. I don't know where I'm going. I just know I'm watching Blood Bowl. What else? Yeah. What else do you need to know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here we go. Start us off. Let's talk through these teams a little bit for the YouTube crowd who didn't just hear the last 10 minutes of Twitch chat. Jim, yeah. big advantage PC, huh? Oh, yeah, big advantage PC. Like, you know, it is a tricky matchup, Lizardmen versus Dwarves, uh, rookie TV. But with a bit more skills, you know, the, the mighty blow stacks up and the guard stacks up on the Dwarves and equalizes the matchup a lot. Um, and particularly in this one, obviously, already we've got a removal. Lots of mighty blow and guard for PC's team. Just a bog standard team. Plus strength on his star blocker there, Jimmy Fantastic. The best the best long beard. <laughs> um, you know, Rick's got some block and some guard. Um, and he's got two super skinks. But the only inducement was a Bloodweiser babe. So he doesn't have a... Like, you know, if he had a wizard, maybe he'd, he'd get a good chance of something. But it looks like he's just got to try and get lucky. Honestly, this looks really, really quite grim for Rick. Uh, I, I think he's got no mighty blow at all, you know, like no reliable attrition. Um, well, I guess he's got the mighty blow from the crocs. Maybe he should try and 3D blitz with the crocs every turn, something like that. That's how desperate it is, I think, for him. Yeah, do you think he's got to be pretty hands off on defense here, save himself for his own offense? Just yeah. try and get that coin flip in overtime? Best, best chance to win, right? Uh, well, that's the strategy that I went for, yeah. Um, maybe, <laughs> maybe. It does go for the crocs blitz. So, Ooh. is he listening to us? <laughs> <laughs> I highly doubt it. I, no, I think I think Rick is like you know you know everyone laughs about the Rick dice and that, but that is one of Rick's strengths is realizing when he's behind and when he has to try and get lucky. Yeah. Um, so I think he definitely realizes that this is you know as much as PC's been again trying to play the underdog card like he often does i think you know Rick often def and always constantly <laughs> yeah <laughs> did you see his stream title today the mm. most overrated coach of all time in all of blood bowl <laughs> he was hosting jim during that <laughs> hey. um so yeah he, you know pc does love to like play the underdog card but he's definitely not the underdog i i, I believe that he's not the underdog just because Yes, the racial matchup does favour Rick, and like you know, all the strength is hard to deal with. Um, but he's he's got the mighty blow on the guard, and and I and I the strength of Dorf. Uh, yeah, it makes a big strong. difference. And then like when it's two AV nine teams that go against each other, like that thick skull really kicks in as well. So when you've got the advantage of both mighty blow and thick skull, like that adds up, right? Um, does PC have a bench? That's a good question. Neither has a bench. Yeah, he didn't have he didn't have a bench against me, PC, and Rick doesn't have a bench either. So yeah, it, it is going to be pretty dicey, to be fair. Yeah, going for that troll slayer um, would be my because uh, like the troll slayer has guard as well. Um, so getting rid of a guard and like going for the weakest piece in the field um, at the same time seems like a good two for one. Hmm. And also, like, just the annoyance of, like, him being able to do the Dauntless punches with it. Um, 
like it, it's a good piece to get rid of especially now that it's on guard as well um yeah. so it's not just like all right i'm gonna maximize my chances of attrition yeah especially as rick likes uh, rick pc likes to hang him out as like a decoy sometimes doesn't he i i don't think yeah. that's i don't think it's bad to go for him often you know so it's it's just like you know i think there's times when maybe it's worth giving up the slight positional loss to get the attrition blitz uh, yeah so if pc does hang him out maybe uh we'll see rick go for him pc if you're listening take two gfis for the carrier <laughs> There's no <laughs> chance either of them are listening. <laughs> Looks like PC is going to take a while, but it's fair enough, isn't it? Like you know, it's it's chalice. Yeah, like this is <clears throat> this is like. Apart from the actual final, probably the matches that are getting viewed the most, right? Um, when it's two big streamers up together against each other, uh, so it's very fair of him to like take his time. Uh, well, well, just looking over at my fallen channels and Twitch, it looks like no one gives a fuck about Chalice at all and just wants to watch Andy play right now. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, like Rick number is real low. Maybe he started his stream right before the game or something. Yes, but, yeah, uh, I probably did. Yeah. Ooh. Dauntless failed, double pow, no problem. Game or something. Oh, but, uh, disgusting. <laughs> wow. Wow, that is disgusting, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Dice <laughs> <laughs> Shed. <laughs> it's Oh god. Flipping flipping out meme, honestly. <laughs> Bye now, yeah, goodbye everyone. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> the only inducement is a babe for Rick. But you know he's gonna get some blocks back here, isn't he? Um particularly if they if they go like if this one goes down he gets all the way down the line. And a th and a no, probably not a three D from the Oh he's just gonna he's just gonna risk the skinks to maximise hits. Wow. Interesting. I would have rather done that after I saw how this yeah, these yeah. blocks went yep. with a stand for I, I definitely agree with that. What do I think about a strength skink? I mean, I would have taken strength, even though I don't think it's particularly good. Just because it's still strength, isn't it? You know? Um, like it's still it's a mobile tools. blitzing option, um, something that um, Saurus, like, can get stuck in certain matchups. Um, Huge knockdown there, by the way. Huge knockdown. Yeah. Because yeah. without that knockdown, like he, he's gonna push this troll slay. But if he hadn't got the knockdown, he wouldn't have been able to do the uh, the blitz on him. So he just had to blitz a shithead. Where well, I'll blitz this one. Whereas now he gets to blitz the best, the best one, Jimmy Fantastic with mighty blow. For no effect. Well done, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> The uh, the funny thing about the strength three skink is I would have taken block first, not wrestle, but I would have still taken strength. Like you just got to having having well, a stunty ball sacker isn't that good. Especially especially yeah. when he has the double first, yeah. then the strength really jumps in value. And the value value would be up against the, another team that's not going to have guard on every corner of a cage, but. Mm. Uh, in this case, the strength, he might as well be strength too, trying to cage to have the ball carry when he needs to. Yeah. Yeah, but it makes potatoes less... Uh, yes, for sure. ...enticing. So, like, there, there is that, right? Because, like, that's why it's not the worst on, uh, on the skinks, but, like, it usually you don't want to take strength on a strength two piece. I mean, yeah, yeah I'd still take team. it. I'd still take it just because skinks are sick, right? And like, it's still yeah, good. Yeah. It's just, it's just not. I wouldn't, I wouldn't take wrestle, and I wouldn't have taken wrestle if I'd got it wrestle before or after the strength. But, um, it's fine, isn't it?
It is live, Christopher. Yep. Yep. <laughs> well, it's, this is some good 2 ding of lads here, isn't there? But um, unfortunately for Rick, well not unfortunately, like he chose to get them in, his skinks are involved in this 2D bashing war, which is not yeah. where you want your skinks. <laughs> I'm wading through adverts. <laughs> 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 Click them all, make Jim that extra bank. Yes. Glorious adverts. Do you get extra, like, if someone clicks? No. I don't think you do, yeah. No, <laughs> no but it sounded funny, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> now Rick might be able to rescue some of his skinks from this. Yes, you can see from the clock if it's live. You can also see from the from the replay bar, but I cleverly put the Champions Cup logo and the casters there so that you can't see where the spot, you know, like where the replay is. So like, for instance, in the last one, you would have been able to tell that that was going to go to overtime if you had the right. replay bar open, so. Very clever. Mm. Have you done this before, Jim? Yep. No. <laughs> But you know, I'm still it's rubbish at it. Up a couple of tricks. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're the best one in the community at it. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> Winning there... by default. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't lead with the apology, but there you go. Every, the good, the great thing is now that being a commander, everyone can do it. So it's. <laughs> Yeah, I've had very much use of it, like a couple of streams ago when I was in a shitty, <laughs> grumpy mood because I hadn't slept enough. <laughs> I uh, I was on the warpath with one of the <laughs> participants in a <the> game. <laughs> I actually don't know what this apology is in reference to, but I'm all here for it. Uh, yeah, well, there's David Walliams is a British comedian on mm -hmm. The X Factor. And okay. uh, he said a bunch of horrible, uh, like, sexist and derogatory things uh, while they were filming X Factor. And that, that was his apology for it, basically. Ah, uh, okay. So then PC did it to, did it with, but with Chalice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is a really shitty fucking apology. <laughs> yeah, I'm really sorry you all caught me saying shitty yeah. things yeah. that I thought were private. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't never think I'd get caught, okay? In my defense, I didn't think I'd get caught. Yeah, I'm really sorry that I got caught, and I have to suffer consequences for this. I would really like it if you all would let me not suffer consequences for that. Yeah. Can you just ignore that that happened? <laughs> so I can continue being a dick in private. <laughs> yeah. I am so upset. I learned today that James Acaster was in uh, like two miles down the road from me doing stand up three days after it happened. Wow. I was very disappointed because he's like one of my favorite comedians. Uh -huh. uh, that is a bummer. Um, I don't know if you're trying to be funny there, Marzen. Um, but ah, okay, there we go. Yeah, Zons will never win Chalice. Yeah, Zons will never win Chalice. A woman could win Chalice, of course, but not much chance, seeing there's only going to be, like, one or two more. <laughs> so, you know. It's a real and exercise in will PC take the space. Chalice if she plays Zons. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's, there's, there's Zons. The Zons are de guaranteed, almost guaranteed not to win Chalice now, right? There's only going to be a couple more left, so... That, that was a big factor with, like you know, it was it was key that Dimmy never said Zons can't win Chalice. He says they won't. <laughs> it's a real a real exercise in uh, PC taking space or not uh, here. <laughs> yeah, but it's turn four. He might not. Like this yeah. is what I wanted to do again. Honestly, this is what I wanted to do against PC. Like you know, if I was going to defend properly, which I thought about doing. Um, yeah. 
certainly if I'd received, like it would have, we'd have seen what it was like if I'd received, if I'd won the toss and received, or, or he'd made me receive. Um, because yeah, do something like this where it's you know create the trap space for him and see if he falls for it. Because yeah. you know, like he does like taking the space, doesn't he? But I do think this is trap space, and we'll see if PC goes for it or not. Yeah, he did expose the skink and he got nailed. There you go. I mean, fortunately for him, like, these are the KOs and he's got the bait, right? So, they're very likely to come back. Yep. So, yeah, so he doesn't he doesn't take all of the acres of space here, the, the trap space. He, he takes the space over here, which is keeping him connected with the rest of his team, which is uh, yeah. good, as you would expect. And slightly engages the super skank a little, a little, little bit. The only thing yes. I don't like about that though is the the Crocs is right there. Which uh, which square is that Crocs in? Is he That's based? A good question. Oh, he's got to be based. Yeah, he's got to yeah. be based. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, no. Uh, Stan. No, he's yeah, not. He's a. Oh, but yeah, Stan Firm. Yeah. 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 I was gonna say like, eh, it's not the end of the world, but like, yeah, Stan Firm shuts that down, but like. Putting the Crocs baseable to the ball seems unnecessary, but he's not, so yeah. it's fine. <laughs> it's funny that he takes up fully two squares. Like, you literally can't tell which one he's in. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, until you actually clicked on the square, so I knew I, I would have actually guessed the other square. <laughs> mm. Unbelievable. Oh, you, so you could, have tell, you could have told by the floating guard, right? That's how you tell, I guess. The very high guard because it when someone's prone it bases how tall they are where the skill is so that's so you can tell from how high from where the guard is there was that skill, that square that would have been the way to tell and obviously now you can see a circle but... oh dear. well i guess it didn't matter anyway <laughs> <laughs> There will be a chalice in Blood Bowl 3 between Orcs and Dwarves for the first one. I mean, we don't, we don't know if there will be, right? We don't know when chalice will happen for Blood Bowl 3. They might just have a ladder and not have chalice for, like, until there's 20 teams in. We don't know when when chalice will happen in Blood Bowl 3. So there you go. The removal, clever Rick. He knew knew he was going to bone head, so didn't blitz with the Crocs. Brilliant yeah. play. He really needed the guard in here, didn't he, to hit the uh, strength four? He's not going to want to one d him. I guess he's going to have to one d him. So yeah, there might be a few more CCLs, depending on Blood Bowl 3, right? Like, although Blood Bowl 3 will be out soon, they might not have Chalice at all. And if they don't have Chalice, people will carry on playing Chalice in Blood Bowl 2, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I think I think the bigger question is how many people are going to jump right over to Blood Bowl 3, and how quickly will they turn off the Blood Bowl 2 servers to uh, coax that yeah. <laughs> into reality. They, did, they didn't turn off Blood Bowl 1 servers, though, did they? So... You... It's yeah, but Blood Bowl 2 still, probably sold better than Blood Bowl 3 is going to. Yeah, probably. It is interesting. Nah, I probably won't, actually, but, you know. It'll be End interesting. Of the day, nerds will spend their money on the thing they love, regardless of how good or bad it is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bezel, for speaking my brain. <laughs> I hope I hope you typed that with as much disdain as I thought it. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so yeah he's, he's grounded the halt a little bit here PC but he's still got three more turns I guess going through here would be good so maybe he wants to try and get through here but then no he's gone 
He's going for the two skinks. It's keep keep the fight on the skinks. He's 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 been to Reddit on on occasion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's flipping go. He pretends he doesn't go to Reddit, but we can <laughs> see he's there. <laughs> <laughs> Croatia, Famer. Beautiful Balkan state of Croatia. Definitely not a troubled history of any kind whatsoever. Yeah, but <clears throat> <laughs> the nineties were a haze for most of us. Let's, let's, ignore, let's ignore that they ever happened. Yeah. No, Famir, you're doing better than me. Though. Well, actually, that's not true. Belgium, Belgium's probably got better odds than Croatia. Yeah, home of Jimmy Fantastic Chocolate Store, indeed. <laughs> yeah. So that, you know, now, that was the listed national dish too Ooh. when I looked it up. That's what that's what uh, we got. Glorious, I believe it. Ooh, what up, Skull? Exceptionally mediocre. That should be their sl their slogan. <laughs> As one of the two people in the Blood Bowl community who's eaten that chocolate, let me tell you, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> You've had worse. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I'm American. I've had much worse chocolate, yeah. <laughs> right, I mean, there's no way Rick's stopping this. So now all he's got to do is is save his, his skink, I guess. Save our skinks. Hey, I can't really envision Rick backing down, though. Like, you know, like or backing off, I should say. I'm sure he's smart enough to do it, but like I could also see Rick cage diving right here, right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm yeah. just like, hey, let's see. We need luck. We knew we were gonna need luck coming into this. Let's see if we get it now. Yeah. Woo. Is this actually real? The Jimmy Fantastic Chocolate. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you don't know yeah. Where table. have you been for two years, Dan? Jesus. Yeah, how do you not know about the Jimmy Fantastic oh, yeah. Chocolate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How would I know it? No yeah. one's ever said yeah. anything about it. We talked about it frequently for like three months, including when I had someone in Croatia ship it to me, because the only places you can buy it are Croatia and Slovenia. But as I mentioned earlier, uh, the breeder of two of the three dogs I own lives in Croatia, so I asked her <laughs> awkwardly to send me some chocolate. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. He, I, I think he should blitz the cage. I don't think he should blitz the base of the ball. Right, it's a GFI and he just gets banged down anyway. It's just stand here is pretty decent. Um, so I don't think he should base the ball, uh, but he should. You know, he should try this dodge off and stand in the way a bit. Jimmy Fantastic doesn't throw big words around. What? All oh, of God. the things they, are they fucking they great. It's literally like we're like from the future and we get to see what our lives were like <laughs> in the past when we discovered Jimmy Fantastic Chocolate via Daedal right now. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, all of the comments on that were just amazing. Like all of I the Wait quotes. till he gets to the part about the dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Jimmy's big end. <laughs> I they I it, it is one of life's great mysteries of all the names that a Croatian <laughs> company could have come up for for a chocolate bar. They picked the name of a blood bowl a middling blood bowl streamer. No offense, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> To our knowledge, there's no connection. It's just coincidental. 
Yeah. But it's hard to believe, but also I would believe more that it's coincidental than someone decided to rip off Jimmy Fantastic's <laughs> name for a chocolate company and risk a lawsuit. <laughs> I mean, I don't think there's any risk of a lawsuit, but it is weird. Yeah, yeah. it's it's a weird yeah. coincidence. But yeah, no, of course they wouldn't copy it. Like, it's just, just a weird coincidence, yeah. isn't it? That's exactly it, Famir. It is. It's totally the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> the fucking Mr. Sparkle episode of uh, The Simpsons. <laughs> Not exactly non-generic. What? Oh god, that's that's literally too complicated a sentence for me that to work That is the dumbest on. sentence I think I've ever read, Melissius. I understand your point, but good lord, man. <laughs> we we all deserved better. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think there's absolutely nothing to benefit for Rick here by trying to hit the ball right now. Yeah, no. yeah, absolutely. No, just try to chip a try to chip one of the stand firm maybe, because if you kill, he only has three stand firm, right? No, he's four. Yeah. To say you kill us stand firm, the one turns back on, but it's not. Mm. Oh. So yeah, you can try and try and get. A Croc splits and a block and another block. Oh God, Rick is thinking about something though. He's taking a long time, isn't he? Yeah. Surely he's not thinking. On offer and then do something crazy. <laughs> like if he uphills and pows, no, he's still, yeah. it's still a three D because he's got he's got stun firm. So he could he could uphill pow the the he could uphill pow the troll slayer. Well, no, even if he does pushes the troll slayer, he For gets a two D. Yeah. yeah, he still gets a red D. He doesn't like he still gets a two yeah. uphill, not a three uphill. Yeah. That's the thing, you don't want a three uphill, but he could, he could, uh, oh, I don't, I, I hate Maybe, this. maybe he's thinking, know. maybe he's thinking sidestep basing the ball could get bad dice and prevent the score. I don't know, I hate, I hate this. No. Yeah. Like, I don't understand why this guy, this guy's not doing anything, like, you know, that, oh, but he have not gotten the assist there, but he could have GFI'd, couldn't he? It's weird he didn't hit from the square up to make that hit, so then he could, yeah, he could GFI no, one he more. Can't walk, he can't walk yeah. in then. Mm. One, two, so three, it doesn't matter. GFI. No, he couldn't, right? Because he was here, so he went one, two, three, GFI. So he went he went uh, totally diagonally, so he, he could have gone GFI, GFI, and couldn't have hit, so it was literally the only way he could hit. Yeah. Maybe it was better to 1D, like, even though you need the pow, because you really want this, the sidestepper there, and you really want to do that 2D rather than 1D, I guess. You've got to do this 1D on the Slayer, I guess. And really, you had to power him. It's still fucked, though, anyway. <laughs> it's pretty fucked. I think he genuinely needed the sidestepper there. Oh, that was yeah. the problem. I think he needed the sidestepper there. Wait, does this skink on the left doesn't have sidestep, right? That's just a rookie. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So he can just surf that and... Oh, no, there's another... Oh, the skink followed. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. he punches him and then blitzes him and scores. Yep. So I think I think he had to have the sidestepper there, which meant one dice blitzing this guy and trying to full power him on a 1D blitz. But I guess the thing is, there's two turns for PC, so yeah, Rick might get himself a two turn here. Man. Yeah, PC doesn't want to yeah. score. I was thinking of scoring, but yeah, it's, it's turn. It's turn <laughs> I seven. actually, I was, I, I actually also <laughs> thought he was on his turn eight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Wolfram. <laughs> mm. Open wide, baby. <laughs> Stop. 
It's Rick and Ocho, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly, Wolverine. It's, it's great. It's absolutely great. Yeah, I do find it hard to believe that Mora Plovac somehow isn't involved in this whole thing. <laughs> But, like, I don't know what he'd stand to gain by doing all that. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Apart from having a shitty name, name for your company, that's all you get out of it. <laughs> it would be pretty, pretty fun meme for this tiny community of people who can't buy your chocolate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What was wrong with taking the both down? Uh, maybe he's thinking of scoring. Like maybe he wants to score. Because it, this is going to be tricky to stall, isn't it? Well, no, he's blitzed already, so no. Yeah, he is. he's not scoring. Mm. Very interesting. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit dodgy. This is this is great from Rick, isn't yeah. it? Getting himself a yeah. shot next turn. Is it good from Rick or questionable from PC though? That's like the I thing, feel like it? Yeah, like maybe maybe you can blame PC because he, he was a little bit ahead of himself, but in in the in the space on the left there, but it didn't seem like that was the case. Um, but he's yeah, maybe this is just the lizard factor, right? They are quick and can get in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It's always like it's 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 you never really know, do you, if it was good play by one or bad play from the other, but or a combination of two. Who who knows? Who knows? So what can Rick do here? He's got an instant uphill. <laughs> um, probably not going to want to do that. Is there a sexy chain somewhere? Uh, he, could he see. chain? No. Um, I was going to no, say, could he chain the crocs up? If, yeah. if this wasn't sidestep, if, the, if there were a million less sidestep, he could have hit this guy into here, then this guy into here, then this guy into there, into there, and then this guy into there, into there, into there. But, you know, that's a million. It's just like it would be insane to do, and you need so many players to fill them all in. So it's not really possible. And there's lots of stand firm in the way. <laughs> so, <laughs> but that would have been a way to do it, right? That would have been a way. Yeah, I think the uphill screwed him. Push, push. <clears throat> that last. Push there, like dodge around, push him into there, push him into there. So you need to fill all this. Like it would take so many, and even by the time you got there, the guard would make an uphill. Even if oh, you meant minions. stand firm, not sidestep. Yeah. I've been oh, right. staring at this board, wondering what the oh, fuck sorry, you're yeah, talking about. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry, stand firm. No, it's just fine. <laughs> Like, there's all stand firm there, isn't it? All three stand firms are there protecting it. So, like, it's just. If that, really if that hard was a to... removal, he had a 5 plus dodge to. Uh, yeah. 5 plus 5 plus to get to the other but, but instead, he's down a reroll now and probably yeah. doesn't want a red die without the reroll. Yeah. Yeah, that uphill was pretty great from PC, wasn't it? And the bonehead. Like, he has had some luck here, PC, which. Rick not getting the dice this uh, this turn, that's for damn sure. Mm. Hasn't blitzed yet, though. Oh, what's mm. happening here? Is he going to just surf the Slayer? 
He <laughs> could do. He could. He, so he could blitz with this Saurus and get him around the neck of the woods, yeah. I guess. Like blitz, then one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI to like, or double GFI, and then game on there. So yeah, that, that could be that could be the play. One D. But all of those end. All of those end with him just needing to blitz through the. Um. The loner gank, yeah. Yeah. So maybe. So maybe you have to dodge here and then uphill surf the troll slayer. Yeah, that's what I was thinking with that skink because well the other thing is if the slayer is there you can't really blitz through the the loner skink re reliably. Like if if he doesn't surf the slayer. Cuz he's still he'd have to like the slayer's stuck there. Yeah, and but he can the just skink... punch and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just basing here. This, this probably it was probably better to GFI down there. Yeah, but this surf is just a. This yeah, is if super they hadn't been and... down with the reroll already, like they could have made some of those funky plays that gave him better odds at actually stopping. Yeah, I think I think he I think what he had to do was dodge through an uphill surf. That guy. Yeah, yeah, I, I like that play once yeah. he pointed it out. Yeah, yeah, because then. Yeah, because then you can't just blitz through the loner skink. Now the question is, who is he blitzing through the loner skink with the ball carrier? Might as well. Yeah. Like he literally he, might as well. He's got yeah. tackle on it. Yeah. His um, worst case scenario. Yeah, his worst case scenario is going to be a four plus to score. And you're not getting away from that anyway, so like you might as well blitz with the ball carrier. Yeah, maybe you can think of some kind of. Well, you can just do all the blocks first, right? Maximize attrition. And you could maybe think of some sexy chain to do something, but I don't think it's there. I think it's just you just blitz the skink. Or maybe if he knocks everything down, because this guy's stupid. Oh, yeah. He could just knock things down and just run through. One, two, three, yeah. four, five, six. So yeah, he can just knock all these guys down. Hmm. I don't know about the follow though. Yeah, so it's a GFI, and then you can blitz him. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. That's better than trying to power him, right? Because the push is good enough here on this blitz. But so it, but if he hadn't followed with the first block, he could just walk through right now. Where was the first block? Oh, was he there? The first oh, block. Yeah, he yeah. He yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, what a terrible... Was... Oh, but then he needed that. He needed oh, that he needed the, the assist. The yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is probably better, right? GFI here and then a GFI to score, but it means you only need a push, whereas here you'd need like a power, and even the both down adds a three plus. Mm -hmm. So the push is in, in this blitz is terrible, even though it's 75. I wonder which is better. Oh, well, he's just gone for the skin blitz. I think 2-2 two, two is worse. <laughs> well, I mean, it is worse than a... It, it's worse than getting the power, right? And you get the power 55%. So it's definitely worse 55% of the time. But it's better 45% of the time. It's maybe better 45% of the time. It's definitely better 25% of the time. I was and just going to 1D. 1D. Interesting. 2-2 yeah. is better than a 3. Large though. Yeah, but it's still better. <laughs> like, yeah, but it's it's virtually the same. We're talking like two percent. Yeah, but it's still better. So, you know. Yeah, but like, do you want to like get hung up on that one instead of like trying to work out the overall? Well, I'm trying. To, I, it's hard to work out the overall, isn't it? So, what you yeah, need so to do is we're trying is, to like create some. Form of like uh, equalities that we can just put away, right? So we can just scale off, right? What's the difference? What's the actual difference made? It's like, all right, a 2 2 is virtually a 3, then we can take both of those away from the equation for a while. And then we remember that, all right, but there was a 2 2, which is slightly better. So, like, if, that, if we need something to tip the scale, then we bring that back in. I don't know. It was just a two anyway. It was just it didn't need a GFI. It was just a two. 
He's, he's moved seven. The, the carrier's moved seven, so it's just a two. So. So. Views expressed in this really stream mad, are not thought. supported by the rebel admin team. <laughs> so yeah, so it's just it was just so that was that was almost certainly the best then, wasn't it? But like, but it's still it's still seventy five percent of the time. No, no, fifty five percent of the time he gets the pow. Yeah. And then 25% of the time he gets the push. Or like, well, no, 25% 20, of the time he gets the push and then he's got to do a 4 plus, which is really bad. And then 20% of the time he's got to do a 3 plus, which isn't that bad. And 50% of the 55 not, he just the, scores. The, those, tw those 20 is not even, like, accurate, right? Because, that's like, in, then you that's exactly a factor accurate. in the... No, because then you got to factor in the AV break with the... Uh, no, 20 is the punch. 20 is the push. The 25% isn't... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But those 20 that's between, like... Yeah, 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 yeah. The 20 is not accurate. Like, yeah, if, they, yeah. if that's a removal, he doesn't need to do the 3 yeah. dodge. Yeah, it's really hard to work out the full thing. It's really hard to work out the full thing. The 2 is probably the best, because you've got the reroll, haven't you? And then where does the reroll come in? So yeah, it's probably best just to do the two plus. Settle down, math nerds. Wow. The two plus is probably the best. It's also simple as well, isn't it? It is simple, right? Because then you know that it's a three percent fail. Yeah, it's it's almost certainly better, isn't it? Well, I got a question yeah, when here. You're just <laughs> I know, uh, I know, I know exactly, you know, PC, obviously, three stand firm on the line, back line, he's totally safe. The only thing that can fuck him is a riot, and a riot really fucks him. So wouldn't you just set up defensively and not really worry too much about the extra hit? Yes, yes, he, like, he's already exposing his three best players. Like, well, not really, but three of his best players, so why not just yeah, yeah, expose yeah. another one? Yeah, I, I agree, you should have definitely set up anti riot yeah. Doesn't matter in the end, but uh, it just it's it's minor, but it's like the only thing that could possibly fuck him right now, other than like you know the hits he's gonna take anyway, would be a, a riot. Yeah, because he doesn't have he doesn't have a sprint on the move nine. If he had sprint on the move nine, then obviously a quick snap would have been more dangerous than a riot. So yeah, yeah. So then, but he he doesn't. He's got sure feet, not sprint. So yeah, yeah. I think that was definitely. Definitely a, a you know a small um, nitpicky error, but yeah, correct. He should have he should have set up against the right. I think. I guess he does only have eleven players though, so every hit counts. That's the other way of looking at it, isn't it? Oh Ooh, well. There we go. <laughs> I suppose. Imagine that was a uh, better dwarf, and uh, I'd be very wrong. I, I again, it, it is a minor nitpick, but. It is one that I look at a lot. Like it's just like when the only thing that can screw you is a blitz, and you don't set up against the blitz. Yes. Yeah. And that's probably more egregious. Yeah. Yeah, because this is there is a cost to this exposing the player to the blitz, isn't there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whereas there's there's much less cost protecting against a blitz. Yeah. Well, Rick's already done better than my first half against PC. He actually made him use the apple. <laughs> <laughs> With like one mighty blow player, and I had like multiple pom hits and did nothing. But there you go, well done, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> you don't fall here. It's not about being mad, it's about being not being stupid. Well, does yeah, Rick have a bench? No, he doesn't, but it's not about not being stupid, it's about how lucky you have to get to win the match. That's the thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right? That's the thing, and it's if your situation is that desperate that the only way you can win is by casting this blitzer on this foul, even if the chance of you getting sent off yeah. is is thirty percent, and the chance you're, of casting him is five. That's what you've got to do. I, isn't it? I just I just assume that we agreed that it's not that desperate right now. It could be. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Well, that's the thing we don't know. So Blood Bowl Stockfish would tell us the answer. So it just comes down to whether Rick thinks it's worth it, and and we certainly can't say it isn't. I think my uh, I think my cynicism would prevent me from fouling there, but I don't actually hate fouling there. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't know the answer. 
Especially since it's a guard, mighty blow, stand firmer that also has tackle. All of those things can fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For for a loner skink that you're probably not going to need to be able to score, whether or not that's in eight turns or not. Is, the, the, that's a screener, right? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I mean, you'd the rather have it than not have it. Screen. And he's thick skull, so like it's really unlikely that yeah. you know anything yeah. happens. But you're on the other more hand, likely to remove it's, it's yeah, you, oh, it's it's a terrible it's it's a terrible foul, but it might be you know it might you know the what's it called, isn't it? It's uh, yeah. There's a yeah, no, I, I, I definitely understand your point, and I think it's very very valid that you bring it up, right? Uh, yeah. But like for me, one of the <laughs> One of the things that I see, like when I play CCL, that people really, really don't respect is the foul. Like, how likely is it to get you removed versus the opponent when you foul? Like, mm -hmm. people seem to think that there is no risk in, the, <laughs> in fouling. Like, they, they're, they're just seeing, all right, this is a chance for me to kill an opponent. Yeah. Yeah, but it comes at a cost. I mean, I don't think Sometimes. anyone's oblivious to the cost of fouling. Yeah, but no, yeah, but, but, You'd be surprised. <laughs> see, but, well, yeah. well, yeah, okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair like, enough. Uh, people make extremely yeah. dumb fouls. Yeah, but it's a loner skig. You know, like, of, of any player... Yeah, but, yeah, but thing on... is, like, you're playing with 11 players, and you have to score somehow, and it's still He's... one of your four skinks. You think ten lizards can't score on dwarves? They've got four standards. They've, they've got like, less chance they, than like, eleven, right? That, like that's yeah. the thing. They've got less chance yeah. than eleven, yeah. but and and it's really not much chance of the foul working. But it's just it's just yeah. how desperate is your situation, and and is it worth right. it? And and I wouldn't I wouldn't blame Rick for assessing it to be correct. Uh, again, that's kind of where I'm at. Even though I, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think I would foul there, but I, I honestly don't hate it. And I could probably talk myself into it quicker than talking myself out of it. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't talk myself into it, but I, I wouldn't mind Rick talking himself into it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, if Ducky makes that foul, I'm all for it. If you <laughs> yeah. make that foul, hell no. What the fuck are you doing? What? <laughs> kind of drugs did you take <laughs> <laughs> yeah if anyone thinks i'm not getting sent off for that foul you're an absolute loon if <laughs> anyone thinks that Dougie is getting sent off without casting that guy you're also a loon <laughs> so yeah there is There's, what's this is this pc or are they are they having a break are they a pause uh, must have paused right <clears throat> or or your replay for us? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna check. Yeah, there's a pause. There's a pause. Yeah, okay. I am very much looking forward to that loner skink getting killed on the very next block of this half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then then he's taken a punch that would have. Like, yeah, yeah. Else. yeah you can you can you can play that game all day long with anything <laughs> in blood bowl i just yeah i don't think it's terrible but you're right like again i like i originally said i would expect that my loner skinks going off and i'm not even koing the you know the dwarf but i don't think it's a terrible foul to take yeah yeah no i've definitely seen worse in chalice De definitely like I, I think it's a terrible foul, but it might be. the needs needs must when the devil drives. That's it, isn't it? That's the saying. Yeah, and that's it. So if you, if I haven't you... heard that saying, but I understand what you're getting. Yeah. Yeah, well, if... while while we're waiting on this pause, we do have some uh, some some surprising facts about our special country today, <laughs> Croatia. Oh, uh, shoot. fact number one: Croatia's famous dogs. Croatia is home to the world popular dog breed called. The, Dal the, the Dalmatian, not not the breed of dog that I care about from Croatia, but Tamascan dogs dog. are much more, yeah. Uh, much more. Yeah, famous. well, they're Finnish. They're technically they're Finnish, not Croatian, but mine were just born in Croatia. Yeah, Dalmatia is a region in Croatia. Which yeah, is ex where the exactly, from. exactly. Mm -hmm. Fact number two. Oh, this website. I should have added this first. Fact number two. <laughs> Dubrovnik is famous for centuries. 
That's all it says. <laughs> ah, is, 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 he a, is he a cricketer? <laughs> no, Dubrovnik is... <laughs> Fact number four, Croatia has too much, has way too much islands. That's how it's written. All right. I probably should have looked at this page <laughs> after Googling interesting Croatian facts. <laughs> yeah, Game of Thrones, isn't it? Yeah, Game of Thrones is, so, is yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. King's yep. Landing. Yep. Is, uh... Croatia, Croatia is uh, like semi-founded by like the region of Dalmatia um, was no, it's not landlocked. Italian. Hello, Dimmy. No, he's not German. <laughs> uh, so a decent kick, a decent. Uh, what's what's this called? Pitch invasion there. Two guys down for PC, but Rick still has to, still is in the position of having to get lucky. But you know now there's no apple, so he might do. There's a chance. Uh, that's bad though. Like you got you lost one of your punchers on the edge, and you instantly one nine with your uh, blockers. So you don't get a follow up on that uh, left. Uh, line of scrimmage door. Yeah, he gets he to, might need blitz to blitz him. That. Yeah, he yeah. gets to blitz him into another hit, and then he's got to do this blockless block at the end. Oh no, he's totally not doing that. Okay. Well, I don't. I hate this from Rick. Literally hate it. Yes, this is not what I would have done. Blitzing stand from when you don't have to is. Uh... And you want to get this guy what off? Like, you know, it's... If you push him, then you get a follow-up hit. Like, that's so much better. Whereas this, if you yeah, push yeah. him, nothing happens. But maybe he thought he had to get lucky again. You know? It's, who knows? Yeah, so, like, the, the ports... Uh, the port cities of uh, Dalmatia, the region in, uh, in Croatia, is uh, historically very, very... Um, profitable uh, ports um, on the trade routes uh, in and out of Venice. Right across the, the water there. Yeah. Croatia also used to be under a personal union under Hungary for a number of years in the 14th 13th? 15th. 15th century. <laughs> you say it backwards for me. It's <laughs> weird. Yeah, that's funny, isn't it? So Perivale with some maths there. 33% of 60k versus 16% of 130k. So the foul is plus EV. So there you go. Interesting. Uh, I, I mean, that's like entirely out of context. But that's how that's how Blood Bowl Stockfish would work, isn't it? Those kind of things, like it's the maths that that's what it is. So the foul, you know, if you when you're thinking of TV, like it's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, I know. In general, it's just I was I'm I'm a bit tired. I'm trying to do multiple things at once. <laughs> Focus on Croatia. That's what we're here for. <laughs> Our fans in Croatia today. Other counts are silly. Draw yeah. them extinct. Yeah, EV isn't probably the correct term for that, actually. But still, it's like, in terms of TV, it's it's in terms of TV on the pitch. TV on the pitch. It's positive TV EV, <laughs> if you like, yeah. right? But that's I not. Hate that's I hate not it. Right. That's the I don't right. like. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's not it's not really it's not really EV. No, exactly. Because like you, the, then you're just no saying won't that give TV me equals EV until I'm not. victorious, and I will defend. Mm. I will defend. Glorious. Because, because then you also assume that the teams are created equal, right? And we know for a fact that they're not. Like some teams are just stronger. Yeah, equity. Yeah, equity. There you go, Jericho Peppers. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. The thick end. <laughs> the fucking Jimmy's big end is just hilarious. <laughs> oh 
to you? Yeah, it is. It's very not as simple. It's like it's it's. it's but that's that's why I wouldn't hate it. And I think a lot of the fouls are surprisingly not as bad as you would think. Do you know what I mean? Like just because of that. So it, it is interesting. Super yeah, interesting. But, yeah, but I I hate it for the fact, like for the reasons that I put forward that like they they assume that the TV is even like. It's evenly valued on both ends, and it's not, right? Yes. Because, like, a Goblin 40k is still going to be worse if he gets bumped up to 60k for, like, getting sidestepped than a, than a skink. Yes, and plus if you've got reserves and everything, and... Yeah. There's a, there's a million other things, and, like, how important that guy is... You know, with him being like a like a blitzer is worth more than a long beard, but a long beard is better in this matchup, essentially. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. And not all TV is 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 created equally, and yeah, there's there's loads of things yeah. wrong with it. But on the other hand, it it's still when it comes down to it, it, it's it's probably people do under and overvalue things. You know, even as a oh, yeah, for sure, as for a sure. community and stuff, and individually, and it's all kind of interesting. Yeah, beat for Rick, yeah. Yes, yeah, the strength five bird. And funnily enough, the the blodger that, that Yudi fouled, um, Tree's like uh, thrower blodger, I didn't like it at the time, but then looking back, you know, and, and in the second half, obviously, Yudi just had absolutely no fucking way to deal with that blodger, so it turns out it was a good foul because... There was absolutely yeah. no way he was dealing with that player, and uh, he did not deal with that player, and that's why he lost. <laughs> yeah, and, and he knew that. Like, yeah, that's why. Yeah, because he he's played, he's yeah. played lots and lots of goblins, and is very good with yeah. goblins. So <laughs> he made the correct assessment, and I made the incorrect assessment. Yeah. And it's like, and, and I do think that like we're seeing like a bit more of that uh, now because like I, I think just from. Like me, I didn't pay attention to these kinds of things like a year ago, uh, or I started paying attention to them a year ago, but like the first six months that I was playing, like I didn't. Um, but I do feel like we have a trend where um, people are more and more accepting that a DP on a high, high, um, high TV elf team is just a good thing. Uh, and I, I don't feel like that was like as universally accepted as truth a year ago. Interesting. I think it's something you always want. It's just you don't get the chance to get that much. That's the thing. Yeah, right? yeah. But I, I think that it, like more and more people have come to that conclusion as well, right? Um, Maybe. And that's what we're talking about, right? Like, what what does the community as a whole accept as truth? Hmm. Like what? What the community as a whole like, uh, or a, a majority like, tend to. <laughs> what did Diddle smoke and where can I get it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired, surgeon. My like, turn my fucking day around. I sleep. My sleep schedule is completely fucked. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Bezel. I'm, it's not meth. It's the shrooms that I took to win Goblin Chalice. Goblin Chalice. Glorious. <laughs> yeah, it's a good point, Leatherman. Yep, yeah, the the the, the Lona Skink uh, doing a valuable job here, about to get three dice blocked. But you know, still. <laughs> yeah, but is it doing more than the uh, the Guard Mighty Blow Stand Firm that's everywhere on the board? <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing, isn't it? They're, they're lying down or they're on the right side of the field, out of play. Yes, it's one of those two, isn't it? One of them's doing this block, getting a pow, <laughs> putting a guard block, 120 TV Saurus down. <laughs> Did he spend the whole $200 he won on drugs? <laughs> Oh, the GFI! Look, the loner skin oh, forcing a failed. GFI. He wouldn't, have, yeah, he wouldn't have failed that GFI. He wouldn't have failed oh that GFI God. if he'd been off the pitch. Oh, I'm just down his <laughs> He's, He's still standing. Glorious. 
Oh god, this is like the stupidest way to analyze Blood Bowl. <laughs> yes, it is. I hate what we started. We have gone full results oriented Blood Bowl here. <laughs> <laughs> you never go full results oriented Blood Bowl. That shroom beats us directly from Amsterdam. Oh man, you've, you've got to blitz this guy because he's locking down yeah. two Saurus, isn't he? With stun firm, it's annoying. But then on the other hand, if you blitz this guy, you could scoot up the middle. But then you've got two guys having a dodge off tackle, which is horrible. It is it is a horrible match. Yeah, I, I don't know how PC was arguing this. It be, Probably because it's like yeah. a bad racial matchup at low TV. So, yeah, you know, exactly. because most teams yeah. like play less than five games, the stats are skewed towards starting teams. So the stats probably say that it's a bad matchup for dwarves and it is it is a bad matchup for the dwarves at a thousand tv and with very few skills it is same as like orcs orcs is a horrible matchup but like for, if you're orcs against lizards it's horrible at low tv but once you start getting a load of guard and block and mighty blow it becomes a lot and less dwarves, and dwarves versus orcs horrible uh for the dwarves um mm. and it's basically like the same as the dwarves versus orcs though and dwarves versus lizards at lower tv but yeah like this is where this is where it's even um and like has gone balanced out like and and it, it sort of depends as well on the skill picks that uh, pc is coming right um getting that tackle <laughs> and that move up on the on the runner really really does a lot in this matchup because it's a sweeper that can just like so, just prohibits any form of potatoing yeah Fanta oh wow, double ones. Diced. Oh, Rick is uh, fucked. Is that the no, word we're looking for here? Proper fucked, yep. Proper fucked. And now he can probably s he can probably surf this guy, can't he? Yeah, hit yeah, he this can one surf first. The Saurus, yeah. Ah, it's it's hard. Is it not hard? that hard? Oh yeah, I guess maybe, it is maybe a blitz this problem. guy. Maybe blitz this guy. Okay, he's not. It's interesting, isn't it? It's interesting. It's not. You gotta fill the square behind the uh, behind the skin, the second skin. Yeah, to the tricky. right of the ball carrier uh, to serve the Saurus. I I like this blitz because he could like you know if he could have if he could have blocked over here and then tagged the skink uh, the saurus he could have blitzed him and then and then just like moved into there if he didn't sidestep into there and then he could have surfed the saurus that was how I do it wasn't it this blitz here but he would have had to see but that's a sidestepper like how does he fill that square? doesn't but, well because either he, if GFI, he does if he uh, powers yeah. him yeah if he powers him he yeah, GFIs yeah. him. If he pushes him, he doesn't do it. But it's still a good guy to bl blitz, yeah, if you, yeah, yeah, yeah. depending on how all this goes. But obviously, he hasn't piled this croc, so it wouldn't have happened anyway. But depending on how all of this went, you could have maybe done that blitz anyway. I mean, just hitting things with, you know, just hitting these two skinks is fine anyway with block and tackle and yeah. doing things. Yeah, as Shed said, like, just shoring up the drive, securing the position, more advantage that he's got uh, from that, and the momentum that he got. Is Rick... Used two rerolls already. Yep. Or that's not good. Nope. That's my analysis. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's pretty. It's pretty bad for Rick. Turns out this this match isn't isn't going great. <laughs> you know what I just noticed? The dwarves on the player cards have their team logo on the bottom of their mugs. Yes. Yeah. I never yeah, noticed that, cause, but that. you noticed because the PC's chest on the bottom of his mug. And, <laughs> and that, uh, there is one part of it that's bugged, um, so that it, it doesn't change between, like, it, it, it's always the same. One part of the dwarf logos is always going to be uh, the starting logo, um, mm. even if you change logo to another. Yeah, I noticed when, uh, you, know, you know, the, you know, the, like, the funny, um, you know the funny uh, 
logo, the Slanish one, that turns them like all looks like yeah. they're wearing latex. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I did a dwarf team like that, and that's when I noticed the beers because obviously it's a much more it's much more uh, noticeable yeah. when when they're all like all black basically. So that's uh, <laughs> that's when I that's when I noticed. It might be over. Yeah, don't worry, Paravel. I'm already Minecrafting. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting up another game as well. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Rick's been diced. I mean, he hasn't been hard diced, has he? But it, no, again, m- just... a bit like my game versus PC, he had to get lucky, and and he hasn't had he hasn't had any luck really. So it's... yeah, there's been no breaks like that he could capture momentum from. Like the breaks that have been momentum capturing has been like the cro- Crocs being stupid and uh, and Rick failing a geofight just now. Like it's gone PC's way just a tiniest fraction. And when you're already ahead, matchup wise, skill wise, not not coaching skill wise, but like skills on the players. Yeah, I'd say so coaching skill wise as well. To be honest, not being. Not being yeah, mean, I, did, I just I think didn't, PC I didn't is very want good. To. I didn't want to. <laughs> I, I don't mind didn't. saying that. It's fine. It's just my opinion, isn't it? It doesn't matter. It's not yeah, being yeah, mean yeah. to anybody. No, it's it's definitely not. But I fucking I dare you. Didn't want to decide, <laughs> <laughs> didn't want to decide who's better. Um, but yeah, I mean, PC is obviously amazing. Um, so. Yeah, I, th- I think like, we could see that as well. Yeah. I think we're going to get one really epic skink potato that will determine if we get overtime or not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is a nice turn, isn't it? There's four, there's four downs. Yeah. Uh, but great, no fucking great, stuns, great. you know? Like, no stuns. And, like, you're a one in six to stun them, at least, you know? And just he's just not getting anything. Yeah, and, and, like, the problem here is, yeah, it's a nice turnaround, and, like, you get all these knockdowns, but then, as I pointed out, like two minutes ago, that sweeper that PC's got corner on the left now, he's just gonna be centralized this turn, and then he's moving seven with tackle. So like, what do you do as rape? Because mm. now you got two of your skinks that will form the screen on oh, the left oh, side. Of- well, you can you can you can eat your words, Dado. <laughs> <laughs> because the, that guy is not going to be guarding against a potato. He's leaving himself eminently hittable um, and take outable. This is a. This is maybe. This is an interesting move by PC, isn't it? Maybe he. He thought he just couldn't cover the potato. Like you know, maybe he thought there was too much that could come uh, with yeah, the skink. Maybe, and maybe, oh, maybe three skinks can come through, like on a couple of knockdowns again like, next turn, um, and then. Two of them will screen the last one. Yeah. yeah. It is aggressive. It is very aggressive putting him up there. Yeah, I, I, it shocked me. I but... mean, he can get Saurus Blitz down if uh, yeah. if he frees up one of those Sauruses on the bottom. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Like, but it, PC's done it, so it's probably correct. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely not arguing that it's a better play than just putting him as a safety. <laughs> <laughs> If you can see right now that the safety is not gonna, likely to work, then why bother having him as the safety? Yeah, I mean, maybe he just felt he, like he had to make that hit, and that was the only guy who could assist, so he just had to be him. Like, he, he would rather have him as a safety, wouldn't he? Oh, there you go, look. Rick knocks down all those players and does nothing. PC knocks over one and gets the Kaz. Apple yeah. fail. It's just shit, isn't it? Well, one of them had a dead getting revived, and the other had a dead that stayed dead. Yeah. It's just disheartening, these saying, games where you've kind of got to get a bit of luck, that just that happens, you know? Yeah. Yeah, when you're catching, like, the, the rough end of it. So he's got, he can, he can power him here. And then he can run around and hit this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI hit him. So he can nail the safety and then he can get two guys up, run up there. So he can, he's got the breakaway. This guy can vaguely get somewhere afterwards. And then he can, he can, he can get to overtime here, Rick, but it's probably going to cost him a reroll. And... 
so so I think pretty good might not be the word choice I'd use. <laughs> but uh doable, functional, somethingable. Yeah. It's doable, isn't it? Yeah, like that. I mean he had to get yeah. the power there, which he got. Oh, he's made a Kaz, well hey. Badly hurt, but it doesn't matter to Rick, that's a removal. Yeah, so this guy stands up and this guy can blitz. So he's got to move the skink first, so therefore probably both skinks first. And then this guy can come up to help a little bit. You can maybe, you can maybe get here with the skink. Now is this custom square move? Oh, so he's just going to base the, he's just going to base the tackler. But then I guess that gets him this other skink, this gets him the other Saurus up first. So yeah, yeah. this is maybe even better by Rick, honestly. Because yeah, it gets him up. But I much preferred nailing the runner than basing him. But he's double based him now, so he can't dodge. <laughs> <laughs> if only that's how it worked. Yep. <laughs> Genius. And he can go there, and he can go there, and then he can, you know, he can go on the top one. A very good response from Rick. Uh, having seen a Soros get killed. Yeah, well, I mean, you can also uh, loner skin. Loner skin can base uh, can base that other runner or the yeah. or the strength four. Yeah, the runner. I yeah, guess. yeah, the runner. Yeah, runner. yeah go for the responsive uh, stuff. Yeah, the runner's exactly. the least scary piece on the. It's on the field for PC. <laughs> Not only is like the runner like less likely to take the skink out, but he's also more likely to get in the way. Like that long beard is not gonna reach very far, right? Even yeah. with PC's movement six on him. Um <laughs> on the sideline. Yeah. Rick move one more square, what to get him in range, yeah, that's a good point. I did think yeah. he should have GFI'd one more. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, he, could, he can still get blitzed, but if you go there, then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it, it takes away one in nine blitz, so yeah, one in nine dodge. It, he should have GFI'd with him, yeah, put him in range, just, just in case. Well, I guess there's this guy though, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, G. Oh, so this guy goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. So he gets him one dodge double GFI away from this runner if he does the GFI. I still think he probably should do it because I don't think PC does the three, two, two to two Dyson. So I still think he should have done it. I mean, depends how things go. Yeah, you could do. But and now you definitely can't. Now you definitely can't score next turn. And yeah, I mean that puts us you. into that. That puts us into that territory of okay, it's dwarves. They're probably going to beat you up more and score on you in three turns without too much trouble. But your lizards, if they're rushing, there's a chance that just like with the Skaven game, you know, like uh, maybe they open the door for you. Yep. Yep. I would see. Scoring looks better than this, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 Way better. Way better. Yeah. <laughs> so th this guy can put diamond tackle on this guy, I guess. Yeah, he can get there without without dodges or anything. So this guy can just straight away face him. He can run down the field. And then Isn't that a jump up, not diving tackle? Oh yeah, it's jump up, not diving tackle. Yeah. He can put jump up on this guy. <laughs> 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 I was looking at the other one because of the leader. I was like, is that is that diving tackle? I don't think so. Oh, he means the jump up guy. <laughs> so he needs he needs the power on this one. I cannot wait. For February, so we can it's no it. longer have confusion about what the icons mean for skills. <laughs> no, Rick. No, Rick. 
No, Rick. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, it was a great line. Sorry, Skr, I was just sad at Rick. <laughs> it's fair. He, this guy had to come through and blitz him, I think. I think he, he had to come through and blitz him. Because then you get to power him and you get to base the, the, the runner on the same hit, you know? That's so... I, I love that player. And whatever whatever this player is that Rick is thinking of, I don't know. I like think we're sideline caging. Yeah. No, no, this this can this can definitely work, and it it, it could have been the best player. It, I just didn't like it as much as my play. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm right. I mean, you're right, but that doesn't mean you're right. <laughs> <laughs> It would have been it would have been better if it was diving tackle instead of jump yeah. up. Yeah, <laughs> I hate this jump up, but you know it's Rick lives in if it lives in his positive world, doesn't he? Where like you know if if that skink gets knocked over, he won't instantly die. <laughs> That's why I wouldn't take the jump up on him. And he took it before the side step as well. That's really weird, isn't it? I would have definitely gone side step before the jump up, like. Side steps, and he took sure fit before the side step as well. I hate Rick undervaluing side step here. Hate's a strong word, but I think Rick is undervaluing side step here. <laughs> I think you just said you hate Rick. I didn't say that. Oh, wow, you heard it <laughs> here first, what? YouTube. Yeah. Jimmy oh, Fantastic yeah. throwing shade at Rick Reckless. I hate Rick. <laughs> dot, 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 dot. Jimmy Fantastic, November 16th, 2022. <laughs> Sorry, 16th November, 2022. <laughs> yes, thank you. Just so you don't get confused. Yes, English school, oh, brilliant. <laughs> I wonder if it was worth basing both of these. Um, you know, just in terms of the, they're not going to be able to collapse in your cage if you base both of them. I, I like basing both of these. And obviously now that he hasn't based him, he's probably not going to base either of the others. But um, I quite liked basing both of these guys just to take them out. Then it gets him really hard to jam in and, and stop you getting away next turn. But now yeah, I guess the really strength four is going to jam in and it's going to be not nice. I mean, very problematic for Rick. I would, I would have definitely tagged both. Oh, interesting. From Pace. Surely he's going to... This strength force is going to hit this guy. Yeah. yeah. Man, Lona score would be amazing, wouldn't it? We get a vote going. Uh, only if only if uh, fault is around, I guess. <laughs> Seeing as he hadn't said anything, he probably isn't. <laughs> That's is the fucking load. Play. The loader skink scoring to draw this game and or win this game in overtime would be about the most poetic justice to this stream of all time. <laughs> <laughs> This could have been the guy, though, so this guy could double GFI and... Uh, oh, it could have been this guy who's been cast. We, we'll never know if it was the Artemis Black or Belladonk. We'll never know which one was which that would have been fouled. We definitely There's can't no watch the VOD. possible way to find out. <laughs> yeah. We definitely can't watch the VOD. Point, point being, we all agreed we wouldn't take the foul, so it's <laughs> insanity we talked about it for this one. Oh, Phil Dauntless he gets away with it again! Oh, wow. PC so lucky. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, Weathermore, he's only down the skin one third of the time, right? And and one sixth of the time, he's he's yeah. he's down the the a really really good long beard. So it's oh wow, it's a huge dodge, yeah, huge dodge by PC before the GFIs. So it was only one GFI. I think it's probably better to do that GFI first, right? Because that guy's doing nothing there. And the GFI only fails one in six. And that bit is still doing something here. So while the three plus is more important to make, I do think the GFI was better to do first. Um, so if... 
can this can this skink get to the other side of the field if freed up? So like if the Saurus if the Saurus blitzes there uh, and gets the knockdown on the stand firm, moves up so the skink can then throw mm. the Oh it's a one D. Yeah, he doesn't it was get the two, knockdown. It was a two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, GFI, GFI. Yeah, he could have got away from the uh yeah. from this tackler. Well, he's he's done, but now, but he hasn't blitzed yet. So, yep. Uh, I don't know how he's gonna blitz, block and then blitz up, but then he can't do anything. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. GFI, GFI. Still not bad. Yeah, but he's in range of the tackle. Oh, the tackle, yeah. But you can screen with the other two skanks if they can make dodges. If they can make a million dodges through tackle, yeah. Two dodges, but yeah. That's a million. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, two, four dodges. Two four for dodges, him and three two, for him. Three. Yeah, 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 yeah. three for him, right? He's got to go one. No, no, they just oh, yeah, and the third. Yeah, yeah, only two through tackle, yeah. Both of them two through. through two, three. A blabless dodge! <laughs> But, I mean, he's still got to go for it. What else is there to do? Yeah, I mean, there's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, re I really much prefer tagging the strength four. And it's it's not a mighty blow hit, so the skink could conceivably survive. I know that's anathema yep. to your thinking, Jim. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. It's I mean, possible. there's a hundred percent chance that PC is at least stunning this, uh, <laughs> this skink. But as long as he has another skink to pick up the ball. Yeah. Yeah. He's and that skink go could be the loner. Yeah, it could be. It whether really could whether be. more could be proclaimed the smartest person in all of Blood Bowl 2 for hanging <laughs> on to that loner skink all game long. Yeah. And he can blitz with, like, he can block one of these and then blitz with the other Saurus, can't he? And get another Saurus up to do something. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. I really like getting near the end zone. I really don't like staying around here. Yeah, because now if you're knocked down, uh, no, you're still fine. Yeah, I would, I would have 100% gone as far forward as possible. I don't know why Rick hasn't. But there you go. Because, like, this guy... I guess he wanted to involve the uh, the Blitzer. Because so... <laughs> now the Blitzer's in range of him. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Like, I would have... But it, it, so it's his Saurus he wants to involve, I guess? Yeah. But no, I, I really Nothing. much preferred being here. <laughs> yeah. I much preferred being here. I think Rick's looking at... A three quarter cage here. Yeah, so double. With a lot of dodges. Double through tackle to get to there, and then d yeah. dub double through tackle to get to here. But if he makes all those, it works. Just seems a lot worse than getting in range a couple of turns ago and then scoring. Yeah. <laughs> and the first, the first dodge one. fails. <laughs> I don't know why it went that way. It's worse, isn't it? Like, because it's just slower, you might... Oh, no, no, it's not. No, no, it's only two dodges instead of a dodge. So it, it, it takes off the one in nine dodge. But I think the one in nine is probably worth it to get that much closer. All right, well, he's uh, got some space cadet uh, ball protection here. Tackle yeah. and range. Oh, gosh. Yeah, he's left himself yeah, one DFI reason. away instead yeah. of two, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't like this. That. Is this is not great? Uh, if it was a five plus Saurus dodge, but it's a it's a it's a five plus Saurus dodge, not a four plus Carnite. Instantly in. <laughs> yeah. And gets him. Yeah, oh, I hate. I hate it not standing there from Rick. Yeah. Doesn't break. Yeah. And uh ball cannot be retrieved, I don't think. Yeah, oh yeah, no, no, it can, it can. Yeah, yeah it can. Yeah, it's over. No, it's not over, but it's No, it's not. It's King, uh, the Saurus can I mean if he picks up the ball pretty much. Right. Well, he can't really protect the player that picks the ball up from the Saurus. Hmm. So now it's looking quite good that Rick Rick <laughs> went there and had the Saurus. No, we could still be I mean, here he, and still have the Saurus there, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I still think I still think it's like I like this blitz, but and he was going to try and blitz with the other one, I'm sure. But like, um, you can still have the Saurus there and still have the ball down here. Yeah. And the Saurus can still do something. Oh! Oh! That was the second GFI for the hit as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Oh! Where's and he didn't well, break AV! Can... Oh my god, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Rick. Yeah, he's got just it. Just needs if you a, can push, just, uh, a push, then a pickup. Plus... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then a three plus pickup. Oh, he's got sure hands. Beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Incredible stuff from Rick. Taking We're, it, getting uh, it to OT. Dangerously close to a coin flip here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, still nearly a full team for Rick. Like, okay, needs this guy back in a three plus. It's only down one Saurus, and PC's down one Longbeard. So, I really hate these extra blocks, right? Because okay, yeah. there is payoff to removing a, a Longbeard, yep. but you've got one reroll, <laughs> and yep. your best case scenario is OT. There you go. He's got it. Whew. Boy, howdy. Biggest news we've had yet, the loner skink will be active in overtime. Oh, baby, what about this guy? Ooh, I know he's got another chance, though. He's got another chance to yeah, get in yeah, there. Yeah. I hope the loner skink goes on the line. <laughs> <laughs> and gets killed by the, by the, by the stun firm. <laughs> <long -term. laughs> but which one, Jim? Which one? <laughs> Not the one that's been cast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got to save him, Sagittarius, for or them, uh, it. Yeah, that was the thing, right? That that was the thing. Yeah, the uh, the like. Okay, you're not. It's not reducing your chances of scoring by much because it's reducing your chances of scoring by one in twelve nine six, but. Using that reroll one in 36 times is horrible, and you know, you haven't got that much chance of removing it. a long beard. So he's put the he's put the bigger boys on the LOS, so he's gonna have that Lorna skink for OT. Glorious. Yes, I mean you you've gotta make those those blocks like that punish you one in twelve and nine six times. Like they are they are plus E V really, you know, like the chance of removing somebody is way more ch way more likely than the chance of you getting punished for uh, making the block. Should he have set up for the one turn? No. Yes, exactly. That's her. But yeah, I mean, now it looks like he could have done the one turn, right? With a tight LOS and so much guard. But I still think it's just better to try and get removals. Like, losing a Saurus or a Crocs or is like massive, right? Yeah. And the move seven one turn is difficult. Especially for an elf only coach like PC. <laughs> uh -huh. and, uh, but he's got this he's got the frenzy as well. Actually the probably the but it's he's hatch three, isn't he? That's the problem is he's hatch three, so like and no dodge, so it's a, it was a yeah, it's not worth it. It's really not worth it with hatch three, no dodge. Right? 
much better at trying just to hurt people. Actually, do you know do you know what he should have done? Do you know what he actually should have done? He should have set up to chain the, the move seven just so he could hit a skink. Mm. That's what that's what he should have done. Yeah, blitz the back line. He should he should have set up to chain to chain this guy forward. Um, you know, with frenzy. He could have set up the frenzy on the uh on the Saurus. And then um and then done that. But I mean he still shouldn't have set up to one turn with a quick snap, I don't think. But he should have set up to uh to blitz the back line by using frenzy to to get a chain forward. <laughs> Here we go. Coin flip time. Skink it's is not back. free because it, it depends on where the mighty blow hits are, right? Like, you, you definitely have to set up your mighty blow hits. And then, yes, if you get a quick snap, you can go for the one turn. Yeah. And yeah. Rick has won the toss. Wow. Ooh. Wow. I started to play another game and Rick turns it around. <laughs> <laughs> wow! And only ten minutes to defend. I and feel Rick, like Rick at the start of this game, back. we were singing, we were singing the praises of uh, PC being able to win this game, and someone somewhere was like, "Well, it's still Rick, though." <laughs> and no, I, we, I we, who put that a Ben? I don't remember. I think, I think we all said that. that <laughs> yeah. All right. Rick needs to go. Yeah, for but Rick. only one lone voice, some sort of three-time champion, was really on the. I think Rick's got this. Is that the same three-time champion that has managed to win more finals than he's been part of? Uh, yeah, he's pretty damn good at Blood Bowl, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, that, that is impressive. Jim, Jim, would you not say that the person who is able to win a championship in Blood Bowl without playing a game of Blood Bowl? Is not the greatest Blood Bowl player you've ever heard of? Exactly, yeah, I, I agree. I agree, 100%. <laughs> in much the same way as I think the most impressive Blitzbit win is the one that was the, the one that involved the least amount of games played. <laughs> yeah, no one's, no one's refuting that either. <laughs> Interesting here, I, I, I like pushing through the strength four and just trying to bang it in in two turns. But, you know, it makes sense to be a bit more cautious and a bit... I, like, I think, funnily enough, that, that temptation to just smash the truth straight away, like, I think that's what blew it for PC versus Devo in the in last season's final. Like, I think in the OT, I think I think PC just tried to bang it in as fast as possible. And if he... Like, there's no way he would have played like that in a normal eight-turn drive, you know? Ooh. Three to two. But Saurus much worse. I, I see a hole, Jim. Yes. And there's a touchback. And there's a strength three skink. Ooh. And there's a loader skink, too. A loader <laughs> skink that can get way downfield. I think we give it to a loner skink. He's, he's shown <laughs> that he deserves the shot at this. At the glory. I mean, I mean this is basically over. It kind of is, yeah. We're going to blitz yeah, this tackle well, yeah. It sure helps if you can knock. Oh, he's not even going after him. I thought he'd go after. Yeah, I guess it's way better to yeah get the yeah, tackle tackled, there. Yeah. And like you can basically just instantly screen the skink off. Yeah. The problem is maybe you really not. Want not to hit maybe with not a, completely. You really want yeah. to hit with his crocs. This is the problem. Yeah. Like you really yeah. want to hit with his crocs. So maybe maybe what you do is you tag. This guy with the skink, and then do the crocs hit, so that if it was a mm. fail, at least the, he would have been nah, attacked. just go right in with the crocs, baby. Yep, so we've got two guys, <laughs> we've got this guy, and we've got this guy, so we've got lots of, lots of skinks to follow through. Whoa, hey. I think he goes there, doesn't he? I think, does the skink not go there? To, to GFI. Interesting. The, there's the two other GFIs. Two GFIs are required. Made one of them. Yeah. And I guess he GFIs here and then he like does something like dodges through or something. I don't know. I don't know how much I like being this this central. I feel like if he was over to the left, more or less of PC's players could 
be relevant. Yeah, but he got he got to use he got to use this yeah, guy as a yeah. cage corner. No, but I yeah, know. I I I, yeah. Pre- I preferred going over that. But if there. he's over to the left more, yeah. he doesn't need the loner skink up on the top left. Like no, he doesn't yeah. need anyone yeah, guarding exactly. that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I much preferred going up here. Yeah, I much preferred going up here. To be fair. Because now PC can at minimum like kind of collapse in on him. It's not. I mean, it's still basically over, but. I just feel like he's involved so many players that were just not relevant to the ball at all. Yeah. I think you'd go for, like, the double GFI here, like, just because you can. Yeah, yeah. Like, you, you don't re-roll it, but, like, do something with him, right? Like, like, do this dodge, do the double GFI and tag the tackler here. Like, do do something with this guy. And I guess uh, that's what he's thinking now, but, like, it yes. doesn't matter about the GFIs. Yeah, Sagittarius. He he can if if that if that uh, stand firm blitzer on the left doesn't get dealt with. Yeah, he could blitz through the loner, and then the uh, the runner, the movement seven runner, could get over there. The other the other runner could get up there. Like it's like it's just too many players involved still. I mean, again, I still think Rick's fine, but just needlessly more complicated than if he was just over to the left more. Oh, I hate this. I really hate this. I, would, I really like G, double GFI tag in there. Yeah. Yeah, he's just going to blitz right through that loner skank and have Stan firm on the ball and be able to block the other side off. And, like, it's not easy. I mean, it's not hard to get out of and score, but it's mm. something where uh, PC didn't really have much of anything, I feel. Yeah. I, I would have liked them to at least been like one one across, you know, like because you still get to use this Saurus, but it could have still been everyone could have been one over, couldn't they? Um, even if you're gonna use him, well, he hasn't blitzed with the stand firm. Interesting. Super interesting. Does he have a bigger plan here? Maybe he doesn't think that's enough, and he's gonna cage dive. Nah, no. I think he'll GFI <laughs> with him and then tackle blitz him and then go in there. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, he's gone there and not there, so now I really don't know what PC's doing. Maybe he is going to die. If he was gonna die, oh no, he's still yeah. He has he has he has the way in on the front. Like right now, I mean, the skink just walks straight forward and wins. So <laughs> he's got to do something here. Yeah, and this this guy one two three four five six like yeah. he's got a GFI to assist now. That I thought you'd put I thought you put this guy in here, you know, and then you blitz there and there's yeah. two there's two guards on this guy and like and you yeah, jam yeah, two yeah, people yeah. in front. This seemed. The obvious player was the GFI there. I don't know if he misclicked or, or just has a different. Oh, uh, maybe, plan. maybe, yeah, maybe the runner's going all the way in front and hitting the loner skink. But he's not. That's I a GFI that's... as well. Yeah. But then why do that one first, right? Well, here we go. He was going in. He's going for the dive. Wow, he thought he had a uh... dive. Glorious. Well, maybe he likes the dive oh, because I it blocks the path. As long as he doesn't remove himself, so he still has to deal with. End. I will uh, only one stand firm. The other guy's not stand firm. Well, right. Kim, see if it works. And if it does yeah. work, you put an assist in and two D him for a push and skull. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or you can, t or you can, if you only push him, then you two D him for a pow, and and then two D him again for a pow. So yeah. and and then one D him for a pow. So there's a, there's a few things. Oh yeah, there you go. He gets the pow on the first one. Wow. Unbelievable from Rick. Hello, Tom Schnitz. Thank you very much for staying fantastic for 35 glorious months. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Just needs a push. Got the reroll. That's unbelievable from Rick. Now, I, like, I, I honestly, I, I did think PC was a big favourite here. Maybe I misjudged it, but like, he hasn't really done anything with all that mighty blow, has he? He's only made one cars, and he's, he's yeah. had loads of mighty blow. There's the. That's it. Rick has won this game. Yeah. Crazy. Un, unbelievable and yet entirely believable. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, lizards are still lizards, right? They're still like they still have a yeah. team full of strength four, and he's he's has got yeah. the bare bones. Like he hasn't got the mighty blow to like make him favored, but like he still has the block and the guard and and the strength guys Man. to like do things. 
Nothing crazy from Rick, though, right? Like, not mm -hmm. like you wouldn't look at this and be like, well, Rick had entirely crazy luck. Obviously, you know, winning uh, the kickoff or winning the the overtime coin toss and yeah, getting but, those those yeah. knockdowns are pretty lucky. But 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 I mean, he was <laughs> he was in dire straits like turn fifteen. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, he had to pull the rig dice out to get the first score even to bring it to overtime. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that was a fun one. Yeah, it, was, it was. It cool. was quite a quite a good game. It was you know a little slow moving at times, but that's kind of what you expect when it's yeah when dwarves it's... having to be super careful about not being outpaced by lizards. Exactly, mm -hmm. it's it's bash versus bash without like kill skills. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then, then it's yeah. really yeah, and two competent coaches at it. Yeah, hardly any AV breaks really. And like when you think P PC, like he had about four mighty blow, didn't he? I think like not not that many, but That's still enough. Yeah. And to to only make eight AV breaks when he was he was hitting some skinks is is very very few. And yeah. you know, six is probably all probably six is probably less than you'd expect from Rick. Sixty four blocks he made in in the end. <laughs> so you know, that's, uh, that was about perfect, right? From PC, one in six armor fails. So. Yeah, funny, funny old game, and uh, yeah, commiserations PC, congratulations Rick, uh, amazing match, thank you very much, Skuro and Daedal, glorious to have you in the booth. Absolutely, thanks for having us as always, and uh, stretch a visa, or whatever they stretch say. Stretch a visa! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, thank you again to everyone in Croatia. Thank you for all of the Jimmy Fantastic chocolate you brought to this world, and uh, have a good night. Oh, yeah. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.